Welcome back to another episode of Coaster Hunters. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. What's up guys, Coaster Hunters here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Wicked Cyclone at Six Flags New England, which I have recently ridden and marathoned last week. And it was awesome! So I have nine categories here for us to discuss and for me to rant about how good this ride is like this ride is so amazing and i always think that um superman will be the fan favorite at the park but this ride is for the extreme coaster enthusiasts that are looking for a real adrenaline rush and do not mind being thrown around like oh my gosh so here we go <clears throat> the restraints i give that an eight out of ten and here's why. It's the normal RMC restraints that are also on Steel Vengeance. But my one issue with these restraints, and I think a lot of you can agree with this, is the shin guards. Oh my god, I hate these things. They are so annoying to deal with when you are getting flung out of your seat like crazy, especially in Wicked Cyclone and Steel Vengeance. So you can end up hitting your shins on the... Um, Shin, shin guards and it could leave a bruise like it's that bad and i have no idea why rmc still decides to use these shin shin guards smoothness 10 out of 10 this ride is glossy smooth uh it's not rough at all it does fling you around because you know it's an RMC, of course it's going to fling you around, and it's just rapid-fire elements, double-downs, like, zero-G stalls, everything, it's just awesome. Uh, the airtime, 10 out of 10. But the one problem I have with this is the shin guards, like I said a little bit earlier. The shin guards can ruin some of the airtime moments because you hit your shins. But that, since me, I'm pretty skinny, like, I'm pretty skinny, and um, it doesn't really affect me that much, but maybe for someone, you know, in their 20s, 30s, you know, with full-grown muscular legs, uh, it might affect them more than me, but eventually, it's not going to be bearable. But the airtime is outstanding you get sustained airtime you got these like there's this one element where you start banking to the left and then go go to the right it is hard, so hard to describe the airtime is just really good and i'm not saying that the shin guard you're always gonna hit the shin guards but most of the time you don't hit the shin guards so the duration i timed the duration so it's about one minute from when it leaves the lift hill, meaning going down the drop until it hits the brakes. So I'm going to give that duration about a 7.5. It could be a longer ride, but I'm not saying that it's short. Because you're just contemplating contemplating everything that's going on on the ride. But I say it could have been a little longer. To get a 10, I'd say maybe 45 second longer ride. You know... So, for me, to get a 10 out of 10 for duration, I have it around a minute 45 from when it leaves the lift hill. The theme, I give that an 8 out of 10. Oh my goodness. Six Flags New England did such a good job on this. Like, for a Six Flags park, the theming on this ride is amazing. You got a plane, plane crash, you got signs everywhere that got blown away from the cyclone. You have damaged vehicles. It it really looks like a cyclone just came through. And espe and even since the queue kind of goes through the ride a little bit, when you're on the ride, you do go past some of the theming. So that gives you a little bit of theme during the ride. Location. I give the location a 6 out of 10 because it's right on the at front. It's right at the front of the park. You just have to walk a little bit to it. But when you're first pulling up to Six Flags New England, all you see on your left is Wicked Cyclone. And it got me so excited to get on that, to finally see it in person and be able to go on it. And you could see it from inside the park easily. It's easy to get footage of it. But it would be nicer if it was 
more into in the park kind of where um thunderbolt is like it would be nice if, if it was over there because it's a much prettier ride than thunderbolt but other than that it's in a pretty good spot and i don't mind where it is uh the height is 109 feet so i give that a 2.5 out of 10 and I'm not saying that you need the ride to be tall to be good, because look at Maverick and Wicked Cyclone. Like, these rides aren't tall at all, but they're fantastic rides. But I'm just comparing the height of it to King Naka, which is the world's tallest roller coaster. And obviously King Naka will get a 10 out of 10, so this is like 300 and... Let me think about it for a second. 350, 45 feet short, 40, 347 feet shorter than King the Car. So it's going to get a 2.5 out of 10, but the height does not take away from the ride at all. Uh, the speed uh, is 55 miles per hour, and 7 out of 10 is my rating for the speed. And here's why it is amazing how this thing reaches 55 miles an hour with only a height of 109 feet and not even having a launch like that is insane how fast it gets from just in a hundred foot drop like what the heck that is so crazy i don't that just blows my mind uh next category we got the drop i give the drop a nine out of ten it has an angle of 78 degrees the drop and in the back row, this drop is just insane. You get flung over, and it feels like you're just going to drop forever. And, yeah, it, the angle of descent really does help this drop be better. And sitting in the back row, too. Uh, the elements, I give a 5 out of 10. It has two 0G rolls and one 0G stall. Uh, I give it this rating because the 0G stall is one of a kind and there is not on any other roller coaster and and i give my bad i give it a five out of ten because you know the zero g stall is one of a kind and they got two zero g rolls which you get pretty good hang time on and for the overall score i give wicked cyclone a 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness, if you guys get a chance to ride this thing, if you are by Six Flags New England, if you are even in the area, if you are just driving on a road trip and you don't even plan on going there, and you see that it's close by, go there. Go to Six Flags New England, ride Superman, ride Wicked Cyclone. Wicked Cyclone is such an amazing ride, and everyone should get a chance to ride it. I love what Rocky Mountain Construction did with this thing, and I... Just love everything about it. And, uh, yeah, that is my review on Wicked Cyclone. Thank you guys for watching. Coast Hunters, out. Hey.